behind you may be eviler than they appear. This is how you lose, human. <laughs> All bravery, no skill. Nice work jamming that gear, Agora. Didn't see you set it up. I didn't see me set it up. Zoom! Was that gear thing you? Negative. <laughs> that was me! So we done here? Let's head home. Huh? Hold up, guys. That's no sentient vehicle. The baddies have decided to take an overdue tea break. Where's Vert? Vert? Dad! Dad, you're alive? Could be a sentient mind trick. Keep the turret on him in case he turns into a big red octopus. Let me look at you. Wow, do you two ever look alike? Do we? It's been a few years I'd forgotten. Has it been years? What, you lost your watch? You drove off in that car. We had no idea what happened to you. This whole time you were here? Here? No, I don't even have a name for where I was. I've had no one to talk to since... Oh, but look at you. The hours, the days I've spent thinking about you. So you're... what? In, in some kind of car club? Hey, what have you got power in this? That's what you have to say to me? Where have you been? Right. What happened? I went out on the salt flats to test a new car. A huge windstorm came up. The hole like the eye of a hurricane. Before I knew what I was inside. It was a whole other world. With equipment and technology I'd never seen before. But the opening behind me started to close. So I grabbed what I could and got out. Back to Handler's Corners. I built Spectra and waited, hoping for another chance. Well, imagine what kind of racers I could rig with alien technology. One day, another storm hole came. I hopped in my ride and went in. This time, I was captured. You are now under the total control of Tor's tank. By a red sentient robot programmed to build and advance battle vehicles. And I proved I could be useful. So the metal butt kept me alive. I escaped many times trying to get back to you, but the bot must have had tracking or something, because he always found me. Until about six months ago.
somebody destroyed Tor's 10 and his facility. Tor's 10? That was us! We just missed you, Dad! Ah, don't beat yourself up, kid. You couldn't have known. Anyway, I set out to where I stashed my car. Been fixing and driving it ever since. Whatever Tor's 10 was using to track you, we must have destroyed it along with his crib. Yeah, probably. Hey, check this, son. Perimeter cloaking. I got it off some robot who decided to play chicken. I've been slipstreaming behind aliens ever since, wrecking their plans where I could. That's sort of our mission too, Pop. I'll clue you in once you follow us back home. Sure, eventually. First, I got some unfinished business here. Whatever it is, trust me, we can handle it better than you. <laughs> what? Because you got yourself a tank? What's the zero to 60 on that thing? About an hour and a half? Hey! <laughs> Dad, I'm telling you. Whoa! You're telling me? <laughs> I've been fighting these things for a few years. Me too. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm not a kid anymore. I've been on my own a long time. I've learned a thing or two. Uh, good. Now learn something else. I'm your father. Sons learn from fathers. If they can find them. Whoa. No sentient mind trick could be this good. Mm-hmm. That's Bert's dad. Dad, I'm just saying, we know the multiverse better than you do. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be so sure of that. Whoa! Sark! Better ride with Stanford in the Reaver. <laughs> no thanks. I don't make a good passenger. Zoom, if Spinner and Sherman block for him, can you watch him from up top? I'm on him like treads on a tire. Unfortunately, my dad doesn't seem to have tread tires. At least his turn signal isn't stuck on. How many are we looking at? They got all around us, while you and your da were catching up. Tailgating. Bad habit. Visible metal mutt, have a low tech wreck. <laughs> Destroy this one.
last I saw, your dad's car went all the way to the bottom. Give me a hand here. Dad! How did you get out? Oh, good old low-tech trapdoor plus gravity. How's my car? You were this close to being a goner. You're worried about your car? That guy's gotta have priorities. So any of these wacky vehicles of yours got a winch? this thing pretty good. Even rigged up a comm, huh? Yep. Whenever I destroy one of those robot thingies, I figure he won't be using his parts anymore. You put together a pretty good team, Vert. I wouldn't mind any of your guys on my pit crew. Thanks. We've got a job. And so do I. Dad, wait! Please, what's this mysterious mission of yours that's more important than coming home? When I was a slave in Taurus Tent's factory, I figured out he was working on some kind of secret super vehicle. I never saw the whole thing assembled, but from the designs, it was extra big and extra scary. And if it wasn't in the gladiator ring, and I checked, then it wasn't destroyed when Taurus Ten got his ticket punched. You want to go back there and destroy it? That's what I do. No, that's what we do. Son, you don't know this place like I do. I spent years underground. Lead the way. You saw this new human before you were destroyed? I detected a tracking beacon embedded at his cellular level. I destroy it before I was destroyed. You destroyed nothing. This is a live tracking signal. An escaped prisoner. He's sentient property, which means he could lead us right to Battle Force 5. And possibly Earth. Activate the slave's tracking beacon. Certainly not this place for six. Yeah, not entirely. Follow me. This is one big basement. Spread out, guys. The search might take a while. Yeah, be right with you. Looks like I gotta scrounge up a new fuel line. Carburetors? You've got carburetors? I don't want some computer chip telling me how much fuel to use. Any luck? No nada. See you oh, nada. Right. No super scary vehicle in sight. Hey, I saw the parts. I saw the specs. I don't get it. Dad, you don't get fuel injection. And I'm telling you, it's got to be here somewhere. Taurus 10 had bots working 24-7. Maybe it's cloaked. One high frequency echo map coming up. Brace your eardrums for a rock and roll ricochet. Sorry, Dad. We're using the highest tech we got, so whatever you thought was here is right up there. Whoa! A flying Mobius command center? Lions about all this baby doesn't do. Incredible. When it's ours, it's incredible. When it's the Reds, it's a nightmare on wheels. Teched out, just like our Moby back home. With one Red Sentient custom option. Mobile respawn chambers. Which means, if the Red Sentients ever got the keys to this thing, they could regenerate anywhere. Uh, so how do we destroy it? You don't! Instead, we destroy you! Spinner, see if you can get the Moby. 
be operational. It's our only chance of getting out of here. On it! Sentient Moby, how kind of the humans to lead us right to it. Now to return their generosity by making their destruction quick. <laughs> the Reds and their dream car. Oh, oh. Did I miss a memo about earplugs? Just buying you some time, bro. How's it looking there? The same as Sage's, except, you know, evil. Incoming Sark! Agora Sherman. Like it's time to go smash claw. must have worked. And allowed me to take command. <laughs> hey, check it out. Way to go, Spinner. Well, that wasn't me. Trinus has control. Burn! Oh, oh no! no. Sark Red, he could hotwire a Red Moby. Bert, we've got nothing that can stop a Moby. Except the Moby. When it's in onslaught mode, it'll use all its weaponry to destroy its attacker. So we gotta make sure that attacker is Critus. Uh, about this onslaught mode, a little tricky turning it on when the bad guy has the remote control. Somebody call for a mechanic? Trying to get it into onslaught mode. And according to Vert, it just needs to think it's being attacked. Like this! <laughs> Mobius Command Center is ours! What you wish for, big guy? Old man, who rock? Impressive piece of tech. Can we keep it? You can't train this puppy. Kratos would always have the dog whistle. Spinner, how long have we got? If I program self-destruct mode right, 30 seconds, give or take a minute. Dad, time to give those twin carburetors a workout. Just try to follow my taillights, kid. Well, 
I say we make a heck of a team. Father and son. High-tech gizmos and old-school grease. So, what's next? Next, we go home. What's wrong? How'd Kratos find us, Vert? In this zone, out of a million possible zones. Kratos must have tracked one of us. I'm not buying it. <sighs> Scan me. Do it. It's inside him, at a cellular level. No. That's why I could never get away. We'll fix it. We'll take you back to the hub. If I go to Earth, they'll follow me there, right? And Kratos would find Sage. So I keep fighting. When you beat them and the war is over, I'll find out. Yeah, you sure. Go to we'll beat them. And I'll find Handler's Corners. Keep my tool bench clean for me, okay? Proud of you, Vert. Good luck, son. See you around.